This video features over $1 million of computers, esports labs, and awesomeness you're not going to want to miss. So stick around as we cover the top 10 high school esports labs in the country. Also, side note, these 10 schools are presented in no particular order. We're just going to let you all vote in the comments which one you think is your favorite. Our first high school is located in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and is none other than Snyder High. Started in the fall of 2020, Snyder High was the first program in their area to start a high school esports team, and thanks to a local software company, whose CEO happened to be a Snyder alum, they were able to build an incredible esports lab for their school. The project took roughly one year to complete and features 20 gaming stations, a lounge, and console gaming stations. In total, the space is around 2,000 square feet and supports the team's 15 different rosters who compete in a number of different esports titles. Good work, Snyder. Our next school comes to us from Florence, South Carolina, known as the F1S esports team. They're actually made up of three high schools in their district, and we actually just did a video on them on TikTok that you guys seem to really enjoy, so of course they had to make the list. The school has invested heavily into their esports program, and you can see the construction process was pretty intense, but so worth it. The esports lab features a wall of TVs for spectators, plenty of gaming stations, and a VOD review room so they can work on strats and review gameplay. You love to see it. Moving on to our next school, or rather, school district, we're heading over to the Midwest, and more specifically, Wichita, Kansas. Wichita School District had to make it on the list as they are home to the largest high school esports lab in the country. Back in July of 2020, they were approved for, get ready, 320 gaming stations to fill out a state-of-the-art esports facility to house esports for their district. In total, the build-out cost them $544,000, but the school district says for the impact esports has had on their students, it's worth every penny. The lab features rows and rows of gaming machines and has produced multiple nationally ranked esports teams. They even hosted their own esports tournament this past weekend to fill out the space. Well done, Wichita. For our next school, we're heading down to Baton Rouge, Louisiana to visit a lab we've actually seen before. Of course, it's the Southern Labs eSports facility. Founded all the way back in the summer of 2019 by Chris Turner, the program would become a huge inspiration for both Louisianians, Louisiana, Louisiana, the Anians, what are they called? <laughs> a huge inspiration for Louisiana and across the country. We actually got to visit their lab this past year when we were touring the country for the HSCL Roadshow, which if you haven't seen it, go check it out. But as soon as you walk into the lab, you can tell it was designed by a graphic designer. Their lab has an amazing aesthetic and features state-of-the-art machines to allow their team access to equipment to game on that the students might not have otherwise. As I said, they seem to have been a trendsetter in Louisiana because our next two stops are both in Louisiana. So naturally, next up, we're going to head over to Pride, Louisiana to check out Northeast High and their esports lab. Launched in the fall of 2021, this arena features PC and console gaming stations, a streaming desk, and of course, you gotta top it off with the LED strips. And guess what? We still aren't done with Louisiana, because now we're gonna head over to Walker to check out Walker Heights Esports Lab. This is the newest lab on the list as it just opened up this winter, but the students are already taking full advantage of it. With walls of TVs for consoles and computer gaming stations, all esports titles are welcomed and played here. You love to see it. Next up, we're going to head back to the Midwest to check out Mays, Kansas and their esports program at Complete High School. Their esports program actually dates all the way back to 2016, making it the oldest on the list. And of course, it was seen as a pioneer in the space. They were the first alternative high school to introduce esports as not only an extracurricular activity, but a four credit class to keep students engaged in school. And it worked. The school now features an amazing esports lab we actually got to experience firsthand. And the founder of the program actually teamed up with his principal to join the high school esports league and release their gaming concepts curriculum that introduced gaming and esports as a four credit class to be able to implement it into any high school in the country. Well done, Mike and Christy. And now we're gonna hop over to Carmel, Indiana to check out an elite program at Carmel High. The program was founded back in the fall of 2018 and quickly grew to over 100 members. The school supported their mission by giving them a room to build out this esports lab featuring a lounge, gaming stations, and of course a shelf to put their many, many trophies on. Good job, Carmel. Now we're gonna head over to Parma Heights, Ohio to check out none other than Holy Name in their esports lab. Holy Name has been an impressive team to watch compete over the years as they've won over $20,000 in scholarships for their students so far. But their esports lab might be just as impressive. 
Started over four years ago, the program was long overdue for a state-of-the-art facility, getting approval to transform their old dusty computer lab into this beautiful esports lab featuring gaming stations, smart boards for gaming reviews, and more. Once the lab was complete, they actually made the local news there. And to round it out, our last stop for the video, we head over to Griswold, Connecticut to visit the Griswold Nexus. Opened up in the fall of 2021 and nicknamed the Nexus, Griswold's eSports lab came in at a whopping $70,000. It features 21 high-end computers as well as smart TVs. The school says the lab doubles as an animation and coding classroom, which allows for more access and funding. So if you're a school looking to get an eSports lab, maybe think of ways you can use it during the school day as well. And who knows, you might make it on this list next year. But that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button, share with someone who needs to see this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.